Welcome back design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to import your castles into Unreal using Datasmith. Datasmith is a plugin that you can install and it should already be installed on your computers. You can find it right here in the modeling ribbon. You may have to um, expand the modeling ribbon using this little button here and you should have a Datasmith tab here. And there's very simple uh, functions here. Export, export selected, and synchronize. Now we're going to explore this later on in the semester. So the first thing we need to do in preparation for uh, exporting this using Datasmith is to save a copy of our scene. So I want you to go to File, Save As, and then save a copy of your scene, maybe add a suffix to it, and then click Save. Now the reason we saved that is because we're going to have to do some things to this scene to uh, make it exportable. And one of the main things we're going to have to do is select everything in the scene. And then we're going to deselect the lights and any cameras you have in there. And any effects, I have wind in there. So that we just have the meshes selected. And then you need to right click, bring up the quad menu, and convert everything to an editable poly. Now what that does is it collapses all the modifiers that we had on all of our objects and just makes them editable polys. And now that we've done that, all we need to do is make sure that we have everything we want to export selected and click Export Selected. And that will bring up your export folder that is inside your project folder. Make sure you understand where this export is going. And then you just simply click Save. And that created a Datasmith file and a folder with the Datasmith data in it. And then we can close 3D Max. We don't really need this anymore. We don't even need to save the file anymore. OK, so here I have my level open that I, into which I'm going to uh, export, um, sorry, import my castle using Datasmith. And the first thing we need to do is enable the Datasmith plugin. So you do that by going to Edit, Plugins, and then you search for Datasmith. And you need to enable the Datasmith importer and the Datasmith content plugins. And then you're going to have to restart your computer. Once you've done that, when it restarts, it'll open up the plugins window and you can close it. OK, before we import this, we need to create a folder into which we're going to put our castle. So let's open the content drawer, go to the main content folder, right click, select a new folder, and create a folder called Castle. You can see I already have one here. And then you can close your content drawer. And now we need to go to the Quick Place Actors menu right here, the cube with the plus sign on it. Select it. And then we're going to find Datasmith and click File Import. And then you need to navigate to the folder where your Datasmith file was exported. Mine was exported into this project folder I have here, into the Export folder. And then find the Datasmith file and select it and click Open. And then it's going to ask you where you want to put your import. Select the folder you created, click OK. And then we don't need animations, cameras, or lights, so uncheck these boxes. And these settings will be fine. And then click Import. And once you've done that, you will have your castle imported into your scene. And it's going to be small, and it's also going to be in a group in your outliner called Castle. And all the things that make up your castle are in there. By selecting the whole group, you can move the castle around and um, place it. Undoubtedly, it's going to be too small, so you're probably going to have to scale it up. To scale it up, select the main group, lock the scale, and maybe pick a number like 4 or something. And then you should probably play your game and see if that's big enough. And that looks pretty good for me. Alright, so that's how you import your castle into your scene. 
and I'll see you in the next video.